What's up YouTube, John here. Thank you for joining Blue Carbon Reefing. We are going to do an April 2020 update on my now 1300 plus gallon system. Um, I am showing you currently frag tank number one. Uh, I'm going to go through, kind of highlight some of the corals and give you guys a good overview of what everything looks like. Going to show you what I've updated and uh, actually you have done a lot in the last month so stay tuned. Alright guys, so uh, we are looking at frag tank number one of three. I now have three frag tanks. Uh, I will give you the dimensions again just in case. This is 46 inches by 24 inches by 16 inches tall. So I am now using this strictly as an SPS tank. I do have a couple of non-SPS. I have some zoanthids here that are just been growing like crazy on the glass so at some point or another I'll remove those and I am using this as my green star polyp grow out a little bit um, you'll see upstairs you saw upstairs in the last uh, update of course that it's not looking so good which I'm fine with because I do want to get it off that rock upstairs so uh, most of these are my main colonies of SPS I like to move them onto three inch frag plugs and kind of grow them out from there. Obviously some that I've had for a while. You have your Red Planet. This is the Ultimate Corals Pikachu. This is actually a Top Shelf Aquatics Bill Murray. Uh, this is a Walt Disney. And this is the BCR Blue Tenuous, Blue Carbon Tenuous. So um, everything is looking really good. Things are growing nicely. Uh, I'm going to switch off to regular video instead of the pro video so we can kind of lighten up the downstairs a little bit and I want to show you what's going on here so stay tuned okay so um, I had two M1s running the system down here one being used as a pump to the 300 gallon and then going in different directions from there um, if you follow me on Instagram, you see that I had a problem and I've just been sick of the Vectra M1. Sorry, Ecotech. Uh, I'm just not happy with them. So I am uh, looking to get one fixed under warranty and the other one, which is working fine, I will end up probably selling. But uh, I went with the Ciche SDC 9.0s. Love these pumps. Uh, they're very sleek, um, super quiet, very powerful, and they definitely do the job. So at the same time as swapping these out, I got rid of the, the flapper check valves and replace them with the wide check valves, which for me, uh, I like a little bit better. So, um, I have a CJ pump running here that's pumping over to the 300, and I replace the other M1 that's down here with another CJ 9.0, and I'm going to give you an overview of what has been added. So now, and the reason I replaced the pumps as well to the Ciche is I wanted a little bit more flow than what the M1s were capable because I've now added a third frag tank to the mix. So this is frag tank number three, um, which I now have water that's draining into the frag tank and then it's draining into this 150 gallon which then goes to the 110 gallon refugium behind it and then this two inch drain line goes down here as well as this frag tank drains down here and everything from here gets put back up into the main system goes through the filter socks protein skimmers and all of that again so um, i'm going to switch back to the pro video and give you a, a kind of a sneak peek of what's going on with the other two frag tanks Okay, so this is frag tank number two. This is the 150 gallon Rubbermaid. And I am using this right now for a few of my SPS colonies. I have another video that's gonna be coming out soon. I removed the red, the big red Monty from upstairs. It's just a regular, I know it looks kind of orange here, but it is a red Monty. Um, it was almost 17 inches around. Uh, and I removed that from the, uh, the rock structure upstairs and I put 
10 different SPS, uh, some of my favorite SPS, uh, just tiny little pieces on that rock to uh, eventually grow out over the next couple years. So right now I have a number of frags that I've made, green star polyps, uh, I have a ton of the Red Monty when I kind of broke it up, I have some Satosa here, I have multiples of you know Utter Chaos, and I am using a few different um, zoanthids that I'm kind of growing out here, which to me are all um, name brand, you know, kind of collector style, um, you know, zoanthids. So you know me, I like my names of corals. So this is frag tank number two. Now this obviously has only been in the system or kind of set up this way for a few months, maybe three months, four months. I'll have to go back and really check, but um, obviously it's full. Um, this pump you can't really see this but this pump is shut off because this red monty had really nowhere else to put at the moment um, so I'm only relying on this one uh, which is why there's kind of no frags directly here otherwise they'll kind of just blow over um, but this is now kind of my kind of cut up system it's not ever gonna look pretty I'm sure but um, it's gonna be you know where a lot of my frags are going now this is the reason why I added a third frag tank so <clears throat> right now, this is frag tank number three. Uh, dimensions, it is 48 inches by actually 23 by 16 high. So it's almost identical to this one, except that one's two inches shorter and uh, one inch wider. This is two inches longer and one inch shorter. And right now, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to use this as my kind of euphilia and SBS or uh, LPS. So I have some, you know, Acans back here. I have a Ganeopora. I have the Space Invader Pectinia, and I have a few different, um, you know, Euphilia here. So I've had a little bit of an issue with some Euphilia closing up. I actually lost a head. I had four heads of this green and blue tip torch. Um, I have no fish in this system here, so I wasn't sure. I doubt that a fish was nipping at it, but I wanted to kind of isolate it in a system without and see if it would come back and rebound or if it's going to continue to, you know, deteriorate. So uh, we'll have to, you know, keep an eye on that and I'll probably update you guys next time I do an update down here. So what's going to end up happening is I'm going to use probably half of this frag tank and kind of uh, an organization system to uh, start some some coral. Um, I've been selling like Chato online on eBay and it's been pretty successful so uh, I have a lot of things that I have frags of obviously so I'm probably gonna create some kind of a SPS kind of a maybe a beginner coral pack you know as a package deal where five or six you know corals are all kind of put together so if you're interested in that um, reach out to me email is bluecarbonreefing at gmail.com um, and I can obviously, uh, you know, kind of hook you up. So, um, this, of course, is frag tank number three, which what I was explaining is the whole reason of switching the pumps out. I wanted a little bit more flow because now coming off of the 300 gallon, I wanted to make sure that I had kind of a, uh, a full, at least a full siphon uh, of water here and a full siphon of water on that one. So there wasn't a whole bunch of air bubbles. The one thing I didn't really want to ha happen was, um, you know, a bunch of air bubbles and, and kind of popping and splattering, and getting salt creep all over, getting, you know, salt creep all over the light. So as long as I keep a smooth stream. So now I have, which originally was just going here. This is now kind of uh, the third drain. So the kind of the little excess overflow. And I'm okay with the splashing here. This one is a little bit higher off of the water. Um, and this has been splashing for quite a while. So I don't think that this is going to be a problem if I get some salt creep here. So that is what I'm hoping is going to happen is the 300 gallon tank will end up having three different drains now. Uh, instead of two so I wanted to bump up the flow just a little bit so um, not much else going on obviously changing out pumps adding adding <coughs> frag tanks to the system so I'm now a little bit over 1300 gallons is what I would estimate my total water volume to be uh, you know I'm a fan of water volume I think that stability is the number one 
Um, number one thing that you can do to be successful in the hobby is keep all of your parameters stable. And for me, having a large body of water or a larger water volume makes that stability that much easier. So as you can see, things are growing very well. These are just multiples of Red Planet. So probably gonna end up trying to sell these as well online uh, and frag these out. But these things are just beautiful and they're growing like crazy. So um, that's it guys. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the update. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, otherwise, I will end up doing uh, an update there. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be creating a few more videos because I do have a video in the works of the, uh, removing that Monty and um, you know a few other things. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned and we'll catch you on the next one. Happy reefing.